Would you rather fight a giant shark, a giant snake, or a giant alligator? I love this. You're talking to target audience right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to do the shark because that means I'm in water and that's a terrible idea. Alligator, um, I just watched Crawl and that's an absolute no from me. So uh, it's got to be the snake. You know what I mean? It has no limbs. So I feel like I've got a plus four advantage. I think it's shark because I've seen another movie about mm. that. If you get a chainsaw. But it's gigantic. Like you would only get like a little cut in there. Not in this movie. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, I, I believe. I believe the movie you're talking about is The Meg. I've seen that movie, and you are correct. Alligator. Alligator. Yeah. All right. Snake. Really? I love snakes. They're really cute. Because wouldn't it be harder to fight a shark in water? That's a good point. Or would it be out of water? So am I cheating the system right now? Can you run? <laughs> because that's the difference. <laughs> I'll say a snake too. I don't want to be. The other ones have such huge mouths. Yeah. Giant snake. I know for me, it, it was a question of uh, what do I have the chance of staying alive the longest? Mm. And it just seems it just seems easier. Would you rather have to fight off a single zombie with a knife or a pack of zombies with some sort of firearm? What kind of firearm? Are we talking <laughs> a Glock? Are we talking a revolver? Are we talking an AK-47? Uh, uh, if it's an AK-47, a pack of zombies. One zombie with a knife. You think you can handle yourself? Speaking from experience, um, you've only got you've only got twelve rounds in a gun, so I don't know how many zombies we're working with. Single. How many though? And how many bullets <laughs> do I have? <laughs> That's the thing we'll never know. <laughs> so single then. Single. Pack of zombies with a. Oh. One zombie with a knife. I think one zombie. <laughs> one yeah. zombie. I don't know how big a pack is. <laughs> Like so if you look at like a full pack of something, it's like four, four packs. Okay, well. <laughs> Would you rather run down the side of the building attached to a bungee cord or jump out of a helicopter into the ocean? So um, funny anecdote here, a week before we finished filming, I rang my producer and I was like, hey, what are the odds on me jumping out of a plane? <laughs> He's like, absolutely not. I was like, cool. We wrapped the show, then I went and jumped out of a plane. So I think it's gonna be the helicopter on this one. <laughs> out of a helicopter into oh, the ocean. Bungee cord. What? A oh, ocean is like a con like concrete. No, it's not. Oh. You're, you're going, if you if it breaks, you'll go on the concrete. <laughs> At least I want the water to break my fall. <laughs> I don't really like sharks, so neither one is <laughs> great. But I'll go with the water. Bungee. That sounds like fun. I would do that just because. Physics, you might actually die yeah, doing that. Yeah, with the water, you might actually yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. Fair point. Up, you are, yeah. Yeah. Bungee. Yeah. Yeah. Without knowing how high up, because that matters, uh, I would say running down the side of a building with a bungee cord. I mean, if it's you know, two stories up, you know, the helicopter. But if it's like, you know, a thousand feet up, <laughs> terminal, terminal velocity is not fun uh, hitting water or, you know, it doesn't matter. Like Jade, would you rather be in danger constantly, but you're out there studying the zombies and learning more about them? Or would you rather just be off in a safe zone somewhere out of harm's way as much as you can? Yeah, on the ship with my daughter and my husband. I'd also want to do, Yeah, I want to investigate. I want to be a good mom. Yeah. <laughs> Jade is doing like the right it. thing. <laughs> That's no, she's not. That's what I'm saying. Wait, oh, you're saying, oh, so, oh. <laughs> but you're saying on the ship, but without the zombies. No, the zombies can be like <laughs> oh, doing what they me. do, destroying everything. I'm safe on the ship oh, with my yeah. daughter and my husband. <laughs> yeah, I would I would research them, but no, I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> care about them. They can destroy whatever they want to destroy. I'm an introvert, so a safe zone. But what if the safe zone gets breached? Then I'm it's no longer a safe zone. But you would want to be. No, in I don't want to be safe. Oof, no, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna die, it's gonna have to be in a way that's pretty epic. So I think we're gonna go with Jade. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I like gotta that. go full send, guys. <laughs> I like it. Would you rather deal with sort of the Walking Dead style slow walking zombies that are just in gigantic packs or Resident Evil style where they they can run and if you're not running fast enough, they might get you. You know what? For this one, I think I'm gonna have to take it a little more easy. <laughs> I think I think the slow the slow's good. You know what I mean? If they're coming, I can finish a game of Call of Duty. You know what I mean? I could get all the stuff that I need to. I can leave, get in the car. So I think yeah, I think we go with the slow ones for this one. 
in terms of just nitpicking, these mm -hmm. guys, our show is, isn't technically zombies, they're infected, so they're right. actually still kind of alive. And I'd rather, I'd rather face the walking dead slow walking. But I'm like, if I'm, on, if I'm on a cane, I can still get away. I'm not a runner, so um, I'll take the slow ones. I think the Resident Evil infected, I think they're so freaky because they're, they're so fast. Yeah. And they run with their arms down like this. Would you rather live in an experimental simulation where your life is perfect, but occasionally there are zombie attacks? Or would you rather carry out an attack on a corporate headquarters with 100 clones of yourself? 100 clones of myself, good Lord. <laughs> Um, I I just I do the hundred clones just to see what happens. I mean, it sounds I, like quite an army. I'd like to see what iteration of Ella Bolinska does what. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> whether the hyperfixating one sort of does and like tears apart all of the computer stuff, and then the one that's really chatty is there distracting everyone in HQ. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'd also be very curious to know when which a specific Ella would get into into a disagreement with itself. I think that would be an interesting thing to observe. 100 clones of myself. I I've always wouldn't. wanted a twin. <laughs> because 100 of them. Yeah. I don't think, I'd, I don't even think 100 of me would make any sort of dent in Umbrella I'd Corporation. I'd just send them all in and run the other way. They'll send drones out. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't do Umbrella. I'd probably go with the simulator. That's awful though. Would you rather pet a zombie dog with no skin or go on a date with a person made of leeches. We don't deserve dogs, so I'm gonna have to go with the dog. <laughs> you know, we don't like the human. The human. The cute. Listen, don't judge a book by its cover. Yes, but like, mm. you know, I don't know what that person's done. I don't. We don't know. I don't know if he has, you know, the same sense of humor as me. Like, we don't know. So the dog, you know, before it became infected, it was a loyal, loving creature. So you can hope that it still has some of those qualities. <laughs> oh God, zombie dog. The dog. Yeah. Yeah. All There's right. like hairless dogs. Yeah, that's like Mexico, close enough. You know? That's true. So we have the Cholo Squintle, which is a mm. hairless dog. And sometimes they do look like zombies. So I'm. Yeah. And they're cute. They're cute. I don't like hairless cats. And I feel like we're just <laughs> the same consistency as like a dog. They just freak me out. So I'm probably. It's just hanging out, right? I don't have to like hug them. Then. No, no, no. Okay. Then I'll hang out with the person who can make leeches. That's quite cool. I do the dog. <laughs> okay. I would rather hang out with a human being made entirely of leeches. Really? That's also from the game. Yeah. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to. I need to go back. I need to go back. So wait, wait. So are the leeches like zombie? Like if they if they suck on you, you get infected? Like, excuse me. No, like, it's like yes. The It's just like it's a person that is just made up of leeches. So like right. the leeches can come off of them, and it's. Not great. Well, I mean, if we're social distancing, I'll go with the leech. Oh, there you Yeah, that's good. I like it.